Hello and welcome to the next episode of Let's Narcissism Super Mario Blue Twilight DX. Um, I would just like to apologize for how long this has taken. Uh, originally, I wanted to get these videos out in like November or early December. I just noticed there's a typo in there. I think the weather is spelled wrong. W-H-E-T-E-W-H... E T H E R is I don't think I think there's supposed to be another H in there. Whatever. Um it's currently Christmas Eve, like very early Christmas Eve morning, like 1.14 a.m. in the morning. So technically still the night of the 23rd, but it's technically the 24th. That's because we have Christmas levels to play through. Um just like how there is a special level. If you play on Halloween, there's special levels if you play on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It is Christmas Eve, see I told you, and Mario is doing his best to return to the Mushroom Kingdom as quickly as he can. For in his back pocket rests the Christmas star, without it, the kingdom's Christmas tree lies unfinished. And that's me totally blatantly stealing something from Christmas Nights. Where the whole, you know, the tree is unfinished and you have to get the star back. And Unfortunately for somebody like Super Mario, even the easiest tasks are dangerous. Can Mario save Christmas? I think that background back there behind Mario is actually from Half-Life 2 Jake and Bacon Source. I think it's one of the GoldenEye maps. Uh, but here we are in my lovely Christmas level. We have Jangle Bells from Donkey Kong Country 3 playing. We have new enemies. Check this out. We have snowmen that throw snowballs at you. And we have ice physics. Uh, these were... I was pretty proud of being able to hack ice physics into this, even though if you look, they're kind of stiff and weird looking. But it works well enough, right? Here's our other new enemy, which I just instantly killed. Uh, it's Lakitu. Um, if I would have let him stay around long enough, we would have seen that he doesn't throw spinies. Uh, I was kind of lazy about wanting to program in spinies. So he just throws bombs, and they're the same bombs that Bowser uses in his boss encounter. Whoa, okay. Um, and you'll notice... Oh, sorry if I sniffled right into the microphone. It's been kind of dry here lately. Uh, but these snow particles, um, if you ever see a game of mine with snow in it, uh, I tend to kind of, like, slavishly obsess over how snow looks in my games. Um, there's kind of like a very specific, uh, look to it. This kind of gently falling snow. Um, I really like to, like, think hard about that kind of stuff. Um, unfortunately here, uh, it doesn't really scroll with the screen. I mean, it kind of does. I think it slows down if you jump up, I don't know. But it doesn't scroll horizontally, which kind of bums me out. Um, you might have noticed with the snowmen, uh, that they actually come in multiple different flavors. Some of them have Mario hats, some of them, ha some of them have Santa hats, some of them have Luigi hats. Uh, they all act the same, but they just look different. I remember being pretty proud of that. Like, that's kind of a weird, like, coding nightmare in Multimedia Fusion sometimes, is multiple object types like that that don't really work very well. But I made them work here. Oh yeah, using the slightly broken physics to get a sweet secret. And that was another level with like a split path, and here we are at the end of the first level. Um, there's only two levels in the Christmas, uh, package, I guess you'd call it. Which works well for the format I've been recording these in, so, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, here we are in the second level. You'll notice down there that there's a little bit of water just off screen. And these lovely, like, platforms that aren't actually attached to the ground properly. So you can see the parallax background underneath them, that's kind of lazy. Um, I think I slapped these levels together in like a week. Because I think I finished early. Um, Mario Ween DX came out in like August. And obviously that's like two months before Halloween. 
Um, so I think I actually did the Christmas levels just because I had, like, just so much time to do, like, whatever. You know? Um, but yeah, there was one underwater level in Mario Ween, and I figured, you know, maybe we needed another water level. And I remember thinking at the time, and I guess I still kind of think this, that this is a much better underwater level than that other one. Um, this is, like, just much more tightly designed. Uh, it still has the two paths you can take, where there's one path up here on dry land, and then you can come down here and spend the entire level un underwater if you wanted to. Um, but, you know, I'd, I had the whole game under my belt at this point. I obviously knew, uh, like, its level design flow a lot better. So, you know, I think this level just worked out a lot better with that knowledge. And here's poor Luigi frozen in a block of ice. Um, I think if you come to this level as Luigi, uh, this changes to Mario frozen in the block of ice. I think I was smart enough to make sure to, like, get that right. And what this really makes me think of is, like... Oh, I never noticed that before. His little cloud was... Uh, dropping uh, snow particles. Um, but what this really reminds me of is that one of the plans I had for a Mario Ween like remake or expansion was doing like just a whole bunch of holiday levels. Like instead of just making it Halloween themed, uh, like at one point I was thinking like, oh, I could just do like a a whole holiday Mario where you have like Halloween World, Christmas World. Um, but then, like, what do you do outside of those? Like, I don't know if I could really carry a whole world on, like, Easter. And, like, what do you do for the summer? Do you do, like, 4th of July? That's not really, like, that's a strictly, like, American holiday. That's not really something you can just do. That's weird. You have two, like, timer countdowns? Anyway, those are the Christmas levels. That was... That was short. Um, there's no boss or anything. Uh, even though I had all this time on my hands, I could not be bothered to do a Christmas boss. Um, but there you go. Christmas levels. That was that was nice. <laughs> I guess. It's kind of short, though. Hmm. But anyway. Uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas and all that stuff. Um, oh! This map in the background, I just recognized it. With all these presents and stuff, you can kind of see it if you look on the right. Uh, this is a map from Sonic Robo Blast 2. The, I think it was the Christmas release they did. Like, there was a Christmas demo, and then there was the proper game. Uh, I think this is from the Christmas demo, actually. So, that's a fun tidbit. <laughs> Thanks, AJ Frida, for this. <laughs> Oh. See, on the next video, there should be, like, a couple more left where we go through all of, like, the unfinished content and secret builds and everything else. See you then.